Hi, I'm Brian Foster with Short Catering. I'm going through our Thanksgiving Day dinner package here. Two different things. This is what we call a half shallow or a quarter tray. You can see the depth of it is different than this half deep tray. All right, so this is what we call a quarter tray because it's one fourth of a full size tray. And this would be a half tray because of the size. So everything we pre-portion. So I just want to show you the depth because obviously a deep is going to take a little bit longer to heat up than one of these shallow trays. We have our standard reheat instructions. I'll post that for you, but we're making this video to make things a little bit easier. You're going to preheat your oven to 325, 350 if it's a little bit uh, of an older oven. We use convection oven, so if you have a convection oven at home, things should heat up a little bit quicker. 325 should be fine. So if you come on in here, we have a few of the options. These are our string beans, sweet potatoes, our gravy, apple cobbler, our mashed potatoes, our glazed carrots, and our stuffing. So when you're reheating, when you pick everything up, it'll all be labeled for you. So basically when you get these, you want to take the foil off. Then we have our saran wrap, if you want to come on down in here. Take the saran wrap off, unless you have a convection oven and then you'll cover it back up tightly with your foil. Or you can carve it and cut it up cold and then heat it up that way. I usually start with the uh, heavier dishes, so like the mashed potatoes and the turkey, because that takes longer to heat. Uh, if your oven doesn't hold enough space, start with those things, get them hot, then set them to the side on the stove top, and then you can cook the vegetables and other side dishes a little bit quicker. If you're lucky, you can fit everything in your oven and cook everything, uh, reheat it all at once. When you're reheating everything, ideally you want to bring it to bring it back to 135 um, for a, an internal serving temperature, so it's food safe for everybody. All right, so we just took some of these entrees and sides out of the oven. So you want to take your thermometer, you usually stick it in the thigh here and the deep part to get the correct temperature. So right here I have the potatoes, which I said earlier, the stuffing, mashed potatoes, mashed sweet potatoes. Once you get them in the oven, are gonna take about 40 minutes. And what I like to do after 40 minutes, is I'll open it up here. All right, and you can touch it to the center to make sure it's hot. Or you can take a thermometer, put it in the center here, And as you can see, it's coming up to about 135 degrees, which is proper reheat temperature for food. Okay, so this would be ready to serve. So I could just cover this or transport it to a serving dish if you want to do that at home. Okay, here I have my glazed carrots, the vegetables. So those will only take about 25 minutes in your oven. And same concept, I wanna check, make sure it's hot, or if you want, it's a little harder, but you can try temping one of these, but you gotta get it exactly on the right spot to get the temperature. But as you can see, the steam's coming out of this, they feel hot to, to touch, so those are ready to go. All right, so about 40 minutes on the sides, about 25 minutes on the carrots and string beans. And our turkey is about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on the size to reheat. All should be temped to 135. Now, if something still feels a little cool, um, or is it isn't quite 135 yet, 
put it back in the oven for another 15, 20 minutes till it reaches that 135 uh, degrees Fahrenheit for serving. Over here, this is our dessert, the apple cobbler. One of the key things is not to cook it with the foil, because what will happen, this will crisp up to make a nice crunchy crust with the apple cobbler, the sliced apples underneath. All right, and that's gonna go in the oven at the 350 or 325, depending on your oven, for about 25 minutes. And same thing, if it's nice and crispy and the temperature's 135, you're ready to serve it.